on today's episode, we have another installment of Welcome to the Show. And the beard's going to tell you what we're welcoming today with our different camera angles and <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> with, with sitting on a tripod, yeah. right? We weren't really sure how to do this, um, so we're going to try this kind of overhead tripod camera right here. So almost a behind the scenes, almost a <laughs> like it's a mixture of things, but really what we're doing. Welcome to the show to two Morley pedals. Um, after we did the last Morley Wah, we kind of were talking with the guys that we, you know, I, I would like to think developing a relationship with them. They're nice guys out there. They're making great products. We love mm -hmm. their products. And I said that we, you know, we're planning on putting more of a permanent board together for like a show board. Yeah, for what we're doing. Yeah, for the show. Um, so this is a huge pedal board <laughs> with very few pedals on it, uh, but it sits on. We have like this ottoman sitting in front of us, and it sits on it. Sits flat. It's a little more stable. We got some Velcro where we like it. We can talk about this what's camera talking. is usually perched on top of it, pointing down. Right. Something stable for its legs to be on. So really, you would only see what's about here. Yeah. On the pedal board, we want to focus what's up there yeah. today. So it's actually pretty nice because uh, we're often throwing wires around and like finding stuff. So we have kind of a dedicated little uh, T Rex fuel tank here. That's powering these three pedals and gives us two extra ones. We can plug a one spot in if we need a, a third over here. The uh, power strips powering the lights that we're using, powering the pedal board. You flip that on, everything comes on now. It's pretty nice. But the star of the show are these two Morley boxes. Mm -hmm. And I said to Morley, like, it's a real pain. It's been a real pain for us to both be able to play through the same pedal and then pick what amp we're going through and that kind of stuff. So, what we have, we'll start with this one. This is the Morley. It's down there. Yeah. It's right here. It's right here. It's everywhere. It's whichever, whichever <laughs> angle you want to look at. I don't know. All right. This is the Morley ABY Selector Combiner. So, it routes one signal to two outputs or two inputs to one output. So, we are using this to run Pat's guitar into A and my guitar into B. And so right now it's on B. So if I have my guitar, I'm good. Pat's turn to play. I'll so all we have to do is hit the A or B. And probably in this scenario, we'll never use A and B. Right. Now we could run one guitar in and run that out to two amps to do that, A or B or both. But we needed something permanent for guitars. We run out of that to this tuner that <laughs> picked up somewhere, was sitting down here forever, and we decided to He make... did an unboxing when I wasn't here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He bought it, left it in the box, left it down here for like six months. <laughs> he took it out of the and box. It's, <laughs> it's really nice. I mean, yeah. it, has, it has this nice angry face on it. When you, <laughs> you can see that. Um, so out of the tuner. We come down here, we can hook up whatever pedals we want. Another cable goes up into the input of the ABY Pro. So the Morley, here's the box. Which they can't see it over your shoulder. It's peeking down from this lofty perch. Yeah. The Morley ABY Pro. Can't see what? Might be the big, the, you can't see it there. They can okay. look over your shoulder. So there's the box for that one. We have the box. Um, this is a little more robust. It's the same kind of thing, but you can't reverse it. It's one input, two outputs. You can't do the, mm -hmm. the opposite. And it has a phase switch. So if you're running two amps that are in different phases, you can push that button in, flip the phases, flip the phase on one so you have them in phase. And it has a ground lift switch, which Amen. we found. Oh. The black one. I don't know if they'll be able to hear that or not. Well, it, it, we, we have two amps here, and the Tyler PT-22 uh, kicked your Hot Rod Deluxe out of the way. But the PV's been there the whole time, because I'm familiar with it, but it hums all the time. Sometimes mm -hmm. we're recording, like, oh, we should have turned that off or whatever. And then today, we pushed the little ground lift button, and problem solved without even having to get up. A lot better. <laughs> and so we have A or B right now is on B, which is the Tyler. Why not 
Apparently, you play. Oh, well, because you're going to do when you hit A. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Flip to A. So that's the PV. Mm -hmm. Or hit A and B. So we have both. And do you dare hit the um, phase button while you're doing that? <laughs> if you want to play, we can pop it in and out. All right. We're still <laughs> trying to decide which one we like the better. <laughs> this is out, right? We're starting this is out. out. Both amps phase out. Definitely more pronounced mids in the in. I, yeah. I use the word definitely. And I'm like, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling we've kind of settled down. We like out. we like the sound. So we're pretty sure that out is in phase. Yeah. For these two amps, they're both in phase. And then when you push it in, it knocks one of them out of phase. We're pretty sure. Somebody might Educate us on it. If we had a big stick, we would we would poke hit, it and poke it with it and see. But are you in you phase or out of phase? You don't have one. So, um, yeah, those are the two Morley. Uh, anything else worth noting? We did use for the cabling between the AB boxes and the tuner and the pedals down here. We use square plugs. And I think I got some videos I can maybe pop up a little clip of what those square plugs look like. There are square plug right angles and square plug, you know, um, straight. So on the back of the Morley box, there's a straight one in. On the back of here, there's a straight one in. And then the square, the right angles here. Mm -hmm. With Mogami cable. So the cabling is really nice. It's nice and flexible. And uh, I can't say enough about this. Maybe there'll be an episode on this someday. Um, I think that's about it. It's a big black piece of plywood with some Velcro <laughs> on it. But it's then, making our job a lot easier. So. Yeah, and he managed to brand it, which is all that matters. <laughs> and we can <laughs> put our stuff, our, our various accoutrements, our drinks, our spectacles. <laughs> One thing that we won't put on there, though, is the dreaded cell phone because you get to <laughs> that stays over there on the couch. <laughs> With that, um, I mean, there's not a whole lot to say. They made two really nice boxes that allow us to route, uh, and you could use this. Uh, if you're running two amps, uh, maybe you're playing out running two amps, you have mm -hmm. multiple amps in your, two amps in your basement, you want to be able to switch between them, mm -hmm. have two guitars you want to leave plugged in all the time. Uh, this one's pretty versatile if you just want to be able to put two in and one out or one in and two out. So it's pretty versatile for that. The ABY Pro gives you the ground lift, gives you the phase inverter. So that's much more versatile. Right. If you're running amps, I think that one's much more versatile for mm -hmm. that. Uh, both super well built construction. Morley. Yeah. Just knocks it out of the park. Just everything we've gotten from them lately. Put it this way: everything we've gotten from them lately, we're using. Yes. That's right. <laughs> like right. The wall pedals on my pedal board. Mm -hmm. These are here. Mm -hmm. Love them. So with that... And hopefully think, more to come from them as well. Yo, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm hoping that we... I think maybe a volume pedal. Yeah. Uh, a volume wall pedal or something like that that we might check out next. One thing before you do this uh, the standard sign-off is we... Sometimes we do, hey, in the comments put, you know, whatever. So maybe in the comments put what are ways that you've used A-B switches and what, oh, where yeah. are you using them and are there other creative things about these switches that, you know, we're not thinking about? Absolutely. That was that was it. That was my creative thought for the day. <laughs> Man, I'm done. <laughs> so with that, we always like to take this opportunity <laughs> to thank those of you that are subscribing, clicking the notification bell, clicking like, leaving comments below, going to Facebook or Instagram, leaving comments there. <clears throat> we have a blast doing this, uh, and we really appreciate those of you that join in with us. It's just it's nice to forge relationships with company like more yeah. with companies like Morley. Mm -hmm. um, and be able to support them, people that are doing what we love. Like, they're making the products that we love to use, so we love to support them. That's what this is about for us. It's also about, you know, the friendships and stuff we've made with those people that are watching the show. So, 
you guys know who you are. Um, I think there's one girl out there that knows who she is. That's right. But, <laughs> but <laughs> tell your friends. We can use some diversity. <laughs> With that, I'm PJ on behalf of the beard, reminding you: no matter what you hear, you never have too much gear, even if you have to build a pedal board this big to hold it. It stopped. Crazy.